Good evening, this is Jay Delsing. It is my sincere honor and great privilege to bring you a discussion with Arnold Palmer here on Saturday, December 6th in St. Louis, Missouri. Arnold Palmer is perhaps the biggest iconic athlete of our time. And looking at his accomplishments, read like a who's who of anything anyone in this country has ever done. So I'm gonna to get to spend a few minutes with Arnold. I hope you enjoy it. Thank, thanks so much for being here. Um, is, is there yes. any one of the uh, accomplishments that stands out? Is there wasn't a cut in the office. Neither the, the, the others. I mean, Congressional Medal of Honor. Your your golf tournament has been one of the best tournaments on the PGA Tour for 36 years. You're All of those things are things that I remember forever. And, you know, like meeting you, being with you. My buddy over here, uh, Jay Randolph, uh, all these guys in this room, they're so fantastic. They're athletes, and they are people that I respect and I love. And well, how can I say it any better or any different? It's, because Mr. Palmer, to me, it looked as if you had a personal relationship with the entire country. You'd come on television, I remember, as a, as a young man, you'd be selling Penn's oil, you'd be, and I felt like I knew you and I had never met you. How did you do that? Well, I'd like to think so. But Jay, you know, I'd, I'd like to think something that would be special to you, who I know you. Uh, and I know all these people, and it's been wonderful. Sports world, to me, is great. And don't embarrass it. <laughs> don't ever do anything but make it better. If you were to say anything about today's game, what do we need? What does golf need? Just sportsmanship and gentlemen the most important thing that we can do is be gentlemen in the game in all sports we are so fortunate to have been in this world as we have through all these years and tonight to me to come here to honor, honor uh, Stan Musial, who is my buddy, <laughs> he, he is the world's greatest. And if everyone in this room was as great as Stan Musial, and they can all consider themselves as, as a great success. I just want to ask you one other thing. Thanks again for this time. How did you maintained such a phenomenal relationship with Jack Nicholas through all the years when I think of the 1960 U.S. Open and you made the most incredible comeback and it was kind of his first event at Cherry Hills, Denver. And through the years I've watched you two interact and your relationship is real and it, it's a tribute to sportsmanship, it's a tribute to what our game is like with gentlemen, to be gentlemen and compete your rear ends off, but at the end of the day, you shake your hands and... Well, I've been on. just lucky. Jack was a good friend, and to be able to say at 86 years old, he's still my good friend, and he's great. He's a great player, and the people that I've been associated with in the game of golf, if, if every athlete were as great as the athletes that I've been associated with, I'd be very happy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate you welcome to that includes you, my friend. <laughs> Thank you very much. I really appreciate this time, Mr. Palmer. Treat.